One day my French family decided they were going to take the three of us on a road trip to the seaside. And on this trip we were going to be stopping at a little park for a picnic. Um, my host mother packed up the basket with all sorts of fun stuff, but we were told that we were going to stop at this little seaside restaurant, which was their favorite, and that we were going to be having oysters. Now again, I think I've shared, I grew up in a meat and potato type of family, which uh, didn't vary very much from uh, roast beef uh, as far as meats. So going to a seaside restaurant, I was already a little kind of concerned about what we'd be having and whether or not I was going to uh, like it. So we got to this little seaside restaurant and they ordered oysters for us. I'd never had oysters before and because this was a new experience for us, everybody in the family was excited to watch us try our oysters, the very first time we'd ever had oysters. So they showed us what to do, the little oysters came on a little tray with some ice and we had to take it from the shell and they showed us that this little pig and how you kind of go around the shell and there was some stuff that uh, you could pour onto it or not and then you were supposed to take the shell and slurp it right on down. So again, being very embarrassed that everybody was watching us, but not wanting to offend my French family, I kind of had to go along with this, even though I was really concerned and a little scared about it. So I did exactly what they said to do, and I slurped it on down, and I can still, to this day, tell you about the consistency, and I remember the little granules was kind of salt in there, and, and the... Uh, I don't want to say slurpy because that would kind of be ethnocentric, but just the consistency of an oyster, not something I was used to, let alone the whole flavor and the fishy taste of the oyster. So uh, it was uh, an experience that I did because I felt I had to do. And I was very proud of myself that I managed to do it and, and not get sick or not be, uh, make myself uh, more of an embarrassment to my French family. Well, as soon as I did the first one, I thought that it was all over and done with. But they said, no, now you have to do it and you have to pour this other kind of stuff on it. So I did that. So it turns out that we ended up, my friend and I, who had never had oysters before, the two of us had to consume three oysters each before the rest of the group got to eat their oysters. So we were kind of on uh, the stage here for three rounds of these oysters. Now the whole time, my other friend, who had been in France before, and this was her French family, her host family that we were staying with, she had had oysters before and she kept laughing. And I thought, there's something up here, but you know, I just thought it was because we had never had oysters before. But when we got back in the car and the laughter didn't cease, and it was again one of those moments where I wasn't really uh, able to understand a lot of the French uh, that was being spoken at the time, I really didn't know what was going on. So we finally get to this little park where we were going to have our picnic and my friend and her family are still laughing. And I know, I know that there's more to the story than I was told. So I made her, I went up to her and I said, okay, why is everybody laughing? I know something's going on. Well, at this point, she gets this big grin on her face and she said, well, you know, Kari, the oysters, when you ate them, you had to take the fork and detach them. And when you ate them, they were really live. So here we were, I thought it was bad enough that I had to eat the oysters. Now I'm living with the fact that I have live oysters, which I'm envisioning swimming around in my stomach. I'm thinking that there's live oysters down there. Well, my friend and I uh, decided that we were gonna kill them one way or another. So the only way we were gonna be able to do that was if maybe we added some uh, wine on top of the oysters to help uh, at least forget about the fact that they were live when we ate them. So we kind of had a glass of wine, we were trying to make ourselves feel a little bit better when we're given our first course of our picnic lunch, which was bread with this really kind of dark maroon kind of colored uh, pate on it, on the top. So I'm thinking, well, nothing can be worse than live oysters, and we're still laughing and kind of just kind of, dis you know, again, being ethnocentric, kind of disgusted about the fact that we had just eaten live oysters not that long ago. So I take the bread and I eat that down, Again, eat first, ask later. And after I eat that, my friend turns to me and she says, well, can't get any worse. She said, now you just ate blood sausage. So in the same day, I had live oysters for the first time and blood sausage. And I know I would not have been able to probably manage getting either of those down if I had known what they were ahead of time, just because it was very different from what I was used to eating. So again, when you're traveling, sometimes it's good to eat first, ask later.